Hi and welcome everyone. Right underneath um, Copper Negus Crater, there are cities, many structures underneath Copper Negus. This is Tycho Crater, as we're panning over top of it. There are so many structures underneath Copper Negus. It should be, this is Aristarchus Crater, coming into the magnifying lens at the top. Very different terrain around than we think uh, there is. Now we'll see here, panning up from Tycho toward Copernicus to the right Aristarchus crater. We can see, and I'll show you the greenery later, it's magnificent. What looks like forest is just incredible. Montes Apenninus Mountain. Upwards to Tycho, where you can see all, and we'll see in close detail later on, to the right and left, and look at the pipe leaving Tycho, up and down, straight out. Also strands going all the way to Aristarchus Crater. These are pathways to get to crater to crater. Many subterranean levels, so many depths different levels on the moon it's ridiculous it's hard to see but when seen closely you can make them out they're pretty incredible now we're panning up look inside of the magnifying glass right here see those lights it's not the sun at all reflecting on top of these you could clearly see that once you're close enough. They're actually moving, whether they are emanating a smoke over top and that smoke is compressed. Oh, now look at this here. I call it the X, marks the spot. Look at the lights to the bottom right there. One coming up here. These lights are so... Um, apparent the closer you get and there are more inside the levels inside you can clearly see i think there are even more lights in the depths of the darkness than there are on the surface of the moon it's incredible how once your eye adapts and you start realizing my goodness these are not craters not a one of them and some of them are convex some of them are inverted some of them are not, clearly not inverted. They even have entrances going into many of the sides of the supposed craters. Tycho to the left, very round, flat surface. You can see which everyone says it's the ray ejecta, if you want, that was caused by the boiling up of the lava. Slow, even flow causing. Um, flat surface could be but never mind that aside from the craters there are many structures on the surface many anomalies what is this very symmetrical crater with a tunnel like object on each side this massive bright light with strands leaving it here you can see at least 10 levels all these different levels on the surface nice close-up of the Outer limits of the moon, you can see the outer edge. There is no edge, of course, but it's spherical, but it's flat like a pancake, therefore there is an edge. We just saw some green color there because there is so much green color on the surface of the moon and purple. There is black, shiny areas. There are shadows that don't coincide whatsoever with most of um, what we're seeing as objects. It's just some shadows, you'll see triangular shadows beside it. Now see, look at the strand here in the bottom. That white line mark straight out across to the other crater there. These are anomalies that should be researched by and told to us by, by NASA. I mean, we're here with our telescopes and we're seeing this and we're wondering what they are. Look at the blue, object inside that hole there amongst other ones and all those 
indentations that you see underneath. Those indentations, guys, when you zoom up, they're all geometrical shapes. I'm not joking. Bottom right here, biggest structure, massive complex, thousands of kilometers long at the bottom side of the moon that we can see from Earth. We see blues, and it does not look like shadows. It's blue, uh, very prominent blue, almost an electrical blue light that we can see on the surface of the moon. Some colors here. This is in color. Just look at all that is on the surface there. There's so much going on in each of these round pocket-like domes. All these areas have so much around them. When you look at the edges of them, you can see uh, structuring, you can see piping, tunnels. It's serious. It's, it's all over the moon. It's, it's infested. The entire moon must, has to be, without a doubt, inhabited. Some more nice shots coming up. Everyone, thanks so very much for all the support from the channel. Um, we have another contributor, actually second time contributor. That's amazing. Adam Schmelter. Owe him a big thank you. At the end of the video, we will see his name and his donation. Just look at this. Wow. Inside of each of these crevices, there are hundreds of structures. I've posted them in the video before. It's absolutely incredible. The closer you get to the surface, look at the purples here, the colors, just amazing. Just a beautiful shot of Archimedes Crater with that magnificent, what looks like thousands of kilometers of ejecta or ray system that is on one side of it.
Channel contributor, second time channel contributor, Mr. Adam Schmelter, $50. Bro, thanks again. It's absolutely amazing, and thanks for the support. It's heartwarming knowing that it's coming from you guys and from my um, subscribers and from my friends. It's, it's amazing. Guys, we are going to get this telescope, and don't worry, I ain't going to give up. And the videos are just going to keep coming whether we get the money or not, because this is just an amazing um, thing that's happened finding these structures, and we're going to make it.